Task 3 AC Enterprise is a beauty shop that deals with sales of different products to its customers. The management intends to manage its orders using a database. You have been tasked with creating the database. How are you going to do it? The following questions will guide us. A Roman 1. Open a database program and create a database file named Jesse in NEC exam folder. Our NEC exam folder is here. On opening the folder, right click a blank space. Then navigate to new and then select Microsoft Access Database. Type the name, the required name is Jesse. That's all. Then you can now press enter to open your database. Enable content A Roman 2. Create the following tables in the database file created in Roman 1. Save them as customer, product, and transaction respectively. Here we have the three tables. First one, customer. It has got customer ID, name, town, and country. To go to create table design, type the field customer ID, name is okay, town, country. Then after typing the field names, check the data type. All of them are of type text and by default they are text. We need to identify that field which will identify each customer uniquely and this is ID. Since each customer should have their own ID, they don't share IDs but they can share their names, town and even country. Therefore, Custom ID on the primary key. Save this as customers. Close the table and let's check the next table. Products. Here we have product ID, description and unit price. Go to create tab, then table design, and then type data type text text currency. Text text currency. Product ID. Products can share their names, their description and cost, but they cannot share IDs. So we set this one as primary key. Save this as product and then close table 3 transaction customer id product id customer id quantity ordered date ordered go to create tab table design let's check the data types text text number date text text this is a number and this is date or date time what will be the primary key here let's check from the table itself We've got product ID 2051201. There's no repetition of product ID, but custom ID, we have duplication of this, like we have 001, 005, 005. Quantity ordered, we have 15, we have 15 here. Date ordered, we have uh, 217. Okay, so the most appropriate primary field for this is product ID, since all of them are unique. So, product ID, right click and set it as primary key. Save this as transactions. Close. Next question, create appropriate relationship between the table. This is a relational database, therefore all the entities are related. We go to database tools, get relationship, then you get the three tables here. Make sure the first one is selected, then you click add, product, add, and transaction, add. Sometimes students may make mistake and add customers twice like this. And you'll find that now we have customers and customers one. You need to eliminate one to hide one of the tables. Therefore, solution, right click the table heading and hide table so that you may have the three tables as required. Now, relationship, let us check. We have customer ID here. We have customer ID here. We have another customer ID anywhere else as primary key. Here is it. So this is a foreign key for it relates to this one. So drag up to that point and enforce referential identity such that when you update a record in mother table it is updated in child's table when you delete in mother table it is deleted in child's table here we have pro product ids as primary key we have product id in other table yes in products so drag and join primary to foreign select all of these and then click OK. And that's all. Control S to save the relationship and close. Create a form named form product, FRM products, that would be used to enter data in table products. So it is a form for products. So select the table like that. Then after selecting the table, we go to create, then go to form wizard. And by default, the table will, be, will come here. In case it is not here, you have to, to choose, then add these fields. Next, choose any format here. You are free to choose either data sheet, justified, or column. Let me choose justified. Next, the name is FRM products. Products. Then 
finish and this is our justified form here we have the four the three tables enter the data so therefore the next question is enter the following data into the respective tables i'm going to fast forward this at this section so you can pause and capture the data to get this paper just check the first comment and click the link to download the paper something else you should note is that there should be an order on how you capture the data for the three tables for example you cannot start by capturing transaction table since it will require data from products and customers so you need to capture for customers data from then product otherwise if you won't do so this is what will happen I go to transaction and the id customer id i capture any id there date order quantity ordered and then be date ordered i set it to be today what will happen this is the error i'm going to get you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in customers so how am i going to escape this error let's close this table and you'll get another message you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in table customers you just click ok you cannot save this record at this time do you want okay microsoft access may have encountered an error while typing trying to save a record if you close this object now the data changes you made will be lost do you want to continue yes so that's how you escape this error therefore that means now start with customers then after that products and then from there transactions so during data capture, I've noted that we have duplicates in our primary key that is MS301 and MS301. So I'm going to solve this problem. I'm going to close this file, click OK, and also don't save that record. Then let me go, let me check from this table, date ordered. Can you set date ordered? It's our primary field. Let's check whether we have any duplicate entries here too. As for now, I don't see any duplicate values. So let us set the date order as our primary field for now. In case something happens later, I'll show you option three. So right click here and set this as primary key, then save go back and continue capturing the data as we were doing so here we have 15 in case in your case the error still persists try to close the table go back to database tools get relationship and check the relationship between these two tables right click delete the relationship and then try to connect them again enforce referential integrity and try capturing the data again and it will accept so let's continue here comes another problem m z3100 you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in products and it's very true in products we don't have a product whose id is m z3100 how what can we do in order to make sure this one is accepted here click ok let's go back to database tools relationships then check the relationship between the two tables right click and edit relationship and don't enforce referential integrity click ok and then close try to capture the record again and it should accept even though in real databases this one should not happen because you cannot sell something which is not in your stock that is a reality next query create a query that would display the customer name so first of all go to create then we go to query design, then add these tables the way we did while adding or creating relationship. And then from there now, what do we need? Customer name, get the customer name from customer's table, double click. We also need product description from product table. We also need quantity order from transaction table. Then we also need unit price. You can get unit price from products and then date ordered here. And then calculated field for amount ordered for the customers who ordered the product in the month of February. So first of all, let us now run this query. First of all, save and save this query as what? Feb query. Feb QRY. Run this query. This is what we're going to get. But now there are more specifications on. We need amount ordered. So to get amount ordered, check the next field here. Let me zoom so that you may see. Right click and build it is then full colon and then we type the formula amount ordered is equals to unit price multiplied by quantity ordered remove this expression like that click ok and then run your query and you'll be able to see the amount ordered here double click here to 
make sure everything is visible as required but now we have we are specific on products ordered in a month of february like for example we can see here this is march this is august february we need february only check the date ordered we type between between 01 02 2020 and 2802-2020 press enter and you should get the product ordered in month of february alone first february and 28th february create a report for the query created above so to create a, a report you go to create then report wizard then use a query to create that report add all the fields go to next you can group them by you can choose to group by product description by name etc let me group by name then next uh, you can click next then i like using orientation which is port landscape and then next let's check the name of the query feb report rpt click finish and here comes our report in this video we shall address the following question which is on powerpoint presentation otherwise for now if it is over if you found this helpful please subscribe even like and even share to your friends so that they may also like i appreciate your comments and likes in this video goodbye for now